Hey, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to write a couple different blog posts. I uh, created a new website, and I want to just start populating it with content. I'm using Phrase to, to write the content today. Uh, I really like Phrase. It's, it's an AI writer, but there's so much more than that, too. It, it also lets you write content by hand that it crawls the SERP. You can rewrite the competitor's content. You can optimize your content. There's uh, analytics tools in there. There's keyword stuff in here. It's a really full feature tool, but I'm just going to be looking at the AI or just using the AI today. And if you want me to write some blog posts for you on camera, I'd be more than willing to do that. Just leave a comment. And if I select your uh, your comment, I'll make a video and, and write a blog post or two for you. And I'll, I'll give it to you and you can use it on your blog. So let's I want to write first about uh, uh, what does depressed mean? But let's figure out what, let's see here. I want to get the title right first. I don't want to just have my title be what does depressed mean. So I want to get a couple different options. Uh, I'm going to load more. What's cool about phrase is you can use the AI as much as you want. It's completely unlimited. So what does depressed mean? Oh, here we go. Four, six warning signs. I like that. Let's bump the creativity up. I'm using a template right now that will actually take a, a question and turn it into an article title, so to speak. Oh, this is great. Warning signs of depression. Okay, so what does depressed mean? We have one, two, three, four, five different articles to write about. Let's bump this up to five symptoms and six warning signs. You know, we already have warning signs here. I don't want to be too redundant for cannibalization purposes. Okay. I like that. Five articles, seven symptoms of depression, nine things you can do when feeling depressed, six warning signs of depression, five symptoms that can signal depression, and five, five signs that depression may be affecting you. Kind of similar. It won't take long. I think I can write all these articles in probably 10 minutes maybe. So let's go to our template for listicles. So we're going to write five or seven symptoms of depression first. That's gonna be your first article. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna paste these in a notepad because it's just easier than recreating uh, different articles inside of the phrase tool. So I'll just put them all in my notepad and then off camera, I'll just upload them to my site and uh, they should be good to go. I got a Storybox account, so I'll download some images from Storyblocks and that should be all I need. I do need to make a meta this would be like, I don't know if I want this to be the meta description or the meta title or just the H1. I'm not quite sure, but I also need a meta description. So we'll do that in a second. Great. Here is the first article. Let's paste this in here and just check it out. Depression is a common condition that affects millions of Americans every year. It's estimated that one out of every four adults has experienced it in his or her lifetime. Okay, so what does it feel like? Feeling sad, trouble sleeping, lack of interest. Fantastic. Okay, the first blog post is done. I gotta wait for the stupid thing to paste in here. Okay. Uh, it kind of go the, the AI trails off a little bit, so we're just not we're not gonna take the bad stuff. Let's just take the good stuff. Here is our article. Now I want to uh, work on the title really quick. Let's see. Cool. Okay. So we're actually going to rephrase this to what they look like. That is going to be our H1 and our meta title. Now we need a meta description. Meta description generator. All right. That works. Cool. There's our meta description. And that article is done. Let's do the next article now. Oops, uh, we are going to do our listicle. 
This is nine things you can do when feeling depressed. You know, I've been depressed a lot recently. We're like redoing our house and not depressed, maybe just, I don't know, maybe stressed out is the right word. COVID and all this stuff, but it's like subconscious stress. I try not to think about it, but it, uh, I'm sure this whole COVID thing has really gotten to just about everybody. We're all kind of sick of it. Uh, I know people that have died from it. It's just not a, ready for all that to be over. So nine things you can do when feeling depressed. We'll cross this out because we, oops, we just got this one done. Okay. Cool. All right, let's paste this in. So this is nine things you can do when feeling depressed. Although we might change that up, the title. Come on, paste it in, paste it in. Faster, faster. All right. All right, again, AI trails off at the end, but that's perfectly okay. We just won't take that trailed off portion. Let's spice up this title just a little bit. All right, nine things you can do when you're feeling down. Is that, let's check the character counter. I wanna make sure I'm not over 60. That's 75. Uh, things to do when you're depressed plus ways to feel happier. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. There is our title. Let's get our meta going. Meta description. These are all, so in phrase, you can make your own. Oh, this is awesome. You can make your own AI templates. So I made all these AI templates myself. I shared them with the phrase community. So if you get, you know, if you subscribe to phrase, you can use these too. I think my listicle template has been used 10,302 times. So people have written 10,000 blog articles with it. It sure beats writing stuff by hand. Now, I don't write everything with AI. Some stuff I do though. It's a lot cheaper than hiring writers. All right, this is six warning signs of depression. So we have two articles written so far. Let's write article number three right now. I remember when I used to spend eight, eight hours researching my article and then like eight hours writing my article. This is a little bit faster. All right, six warning signs of depression. I like it, but see, it's trailed off a little bit more. Let's do, so the cool thing about phrases, you can do as many generations as you want. I mentioned this before, but the AI is completely unlimited. So there's no credits to worry about. There's no overages. There's no additional fees. You, you get phrase, you get the AI add-on, the SEO AI add-on, and you can generate as much as you want. So let's see if we can get one more generation out of this, and hopefully it's good. Come on, AI. Come on, AI. You can do it. Okay, I like that. That's a nice long one. Oh no. Did I? <laughs> I copied the first generation. Okay, we'll try this again. Gotta copy the second one. You know, if you, you leave a comment in the in the comments below, tell me how you uh, write your content. You know, what tools do you use? What uh, tips and tricks do you use to uh, write your content fast and get it published? And, and also tell me what industry are you in? Are you like an affiliate marketer? Are you just a blogger? Do you work for an agency? What, you know, what's your background? Tell me your story. And, uh, and maybe I can give you some tips on, on how to improve your content generation process. A little bit about me. I'm a, I'm a former intellectual, uh, hold on. Okay, I'm a former intellectual property attorney and I'm a mechanical engineer, but I've really fallen in love with uh, SEO. So I, I've done SEO on the side for like the past, probably nearly a decade. And I'm trying to get into it full time after, you know, I work on it in the evenings. And hopefully it will turn into something full time down the road. We all have our side hustles, don't we? Tell me what yours is in the comments. I'd be interested to know. Uh, awesome. Okay, so there is 
Now I need the I need the description meta description right here. Perfect, fantastic. We gotta be careful with some of this content. We don't want to tell people that to do to do bad things. But I think all this is this is pretty good. Changes in moods. Cool. Yeah, I think this is helpful content. Okay, let's do the fourth article. I need like some music or something playing in the background, right? <laughs> kind of boring, just uh, looking at the AI generate stuff. Fantastic. There's the next one. Symptoms that can signal depression. Depression's an illness, uh, blah, blah, blah. Here are several signs that you might be depressed. Here are five symptoms that can signal depression. Feeling sad, having trouble sleeping, being anxious, feeling guilt, feeling tired. All right. I like that. Let's see if we can do one more generation because there's not a lot of content here. I like to have at least 600 words for my blog post or around on average. I, this is probably what, 300 words. I think it's a little bit short for me. Let's do one more generation. If that doesn't work, I got another trick up my sleeve to make this uh, built out a little bit without busting too much of a sweat. Here we go. Yeah, I think we can do this. We got to delete some of those bullet points in there. Here we go. That's the second generation. So yeah, the, so the cool thing with phrases, again, you just keep generating more and more if you really want to. Or if you want more than five, like five listicle things, you can just generate again and then just pick and choose what things you want to bring in so you can have a, a, a list of 10 items, a li list of 20 items. That's not a problem for phrase. Build it as many as you want. <clears throat> okay. A little bit too many bullet points. Let's just have a couple. There we go. There we go. I like that. It's still a little short. All right, what we can do is we'll use this paragraphs from scratch template. And so with this thing, what we can do is we can put in our, our high level concept symptoms that can signal depression. And then we can actually put in something like being moody. So there's not a lot of content here. So we'll put some stuff in here for being moody and it will generate us some nice paragraphs. Uh, and we'll really kind of bulk this article up a little bit. Awesome. Look at that. 126 words. That's better. Let's see. Feeling sad. Let's, let's bump that one up too. So let's just delete what we have for feeling sad. And we'll do the having trouble sleeping too. And we'll get a nice big thick article. No, I didn't get the, uh, it's not what I like. So again, you don't like it, just generate, lo click the load more button. No big deal. Awesome. Okay. And finally we'll do having trouble sleeping. Sometimes the A, so the AI has these virtual neurons and it, uh, there we go. Perfect. You know, in so, some topics it, it struggles a little bit more. It needs a little bit more help. So this was an example where we're, the AI was just having some trouble. No big deal. We took care of the problem. Now let's uh, spice this title up a little bit more. Get ourselves a spicy title. Actually, I don't want that. I want how to tell if you're depressed. Cool. That, oh, we need our meta description. Darn it. Cool. Okay. Before I go paste that in, I'll start the next generation. Okay. And I'll take this. That's our meta. Put that right there. And now we are on to number five. Videos at, at 18 minutes. So a little bit longer than what I wanted. What is that? Uh, four minutes in article. We're going to have to shave that down a little bit. <laughs> I want to go for 60 seconds in article. Oh, this is a really good one. Wow. We, it's a lot of meat here. 563 words, although it trailed. So I was talking about a video and Dr. Bermhall. I don't know if that's uh, the following article was written by Dr. John Bermhall, MD. Was it, is my name Dr. Bermhall? Hmm. Wow. We, okay. Is that a good article? Let's, let's bulk one or two of them up a little bit. Uh, one or two of the paragraphs. We'll just 
bulk up. So we're gonna we're gonna bulk up the uh, when you feel sad all the time. Okay, we'll paste that in there. Uh, you eat too much junk food. <laughs> yeah, I guess right. You're uh, you're eating that comfort food. We all love our comfort food. I think my comfort food is probably ice cream. I really like cookie dough ice cream. That's some good stuff right there. You don't want to go out with your friends. Yeah, this will be a nice sized article. Awesome. Okay, there is our fifth article. Let's put this in here. Let's spice up the title. See what we get. Awesome. That is our title. Let's get our meta description. Oh, that's not what we want. We want my template. Okay, there's our meta description. All right, 22 minutes. Now I haven't published these yet. I'm gonna to go to Storyblocks, grab an image for each of these, and then publish them. And so maybe 30 minutes tops for all five articles. If you like this, if you wanna see more, uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna post a lot more videos on all kinds of just content gener generation using AI and, and automation ways to get uh, your, your site just jam-packed with content and ranking higher on Google. Now, we didn't optimize this stuff, but I'm writing for, for very lower competition keywords. I'm going for the quantity over the quality at the moment. If I was gonna write a pillar article or something like that, I'd probably go into the, the optimization section of phrase. It has to scrape the SERP right now. I'd probably do a research, you know, do some research based on the existing SERP, optimize it all. But I'm not going to do that for these articles. It's, it's not a big deal. These are just some long tails that I'm not too concerned about. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment below. And again, don't forget to uh, tell me what you'd like me to write about. I'll write you an article. Select one or two comments to, to write an article for. And I uh, hope to see you next time.